Okay, uh, this is our second video on limits. Um, so in the first video, we looked at a nice simple example of the limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches 2, okay? And the solution was to just, sorry, 2. The solution was to just sub the 2 straight into the x and find out what the limit was, okay? So it won't always be as easy as that as solving the limit. And next we're going to look at an example uh, when that's the case, where we can't just sub x in and find what the limit is. We're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging first. Okay, so I got rid of that, and now here we have an example of where we can't sub it straight in, okay? So if we have the limit of x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 as x approaches 5, okay? So that's a fancy way of just saying this thing here. What's what's this going to um, approach as x approaches 5? So we'll start by subbing it straight in, and we'll see what happens, okay? So I'll go to yellow for that. So if we sub 5 straight in, we're going to get 5 squared minus 25 over 5 minus 5, and that's going to be 25 minus 25 over 5 minus 5, and that's equal to 0 divided by 0. And again, that's another error. If you put that into your calculator, it'll just give you back an error. You can't divide 0 by 0. Uh, it's just one of the rules of maths. It can't, because if you try to, how many times does 0 go into 0? You can go into it a billion times. It, it doesn't work basically, okay? So we're going to have to change this a little bit. We can't just sub uh, 5 straight in, okay? Okay, so we can't sub it straight in, so what are we going to do? So if you try and sub it straight in and you find 0 over 0 is your answer, which is wrong, then try and factorize it first, okay? So we're going to try and factorize x squared minus 25 and x minus 5, okay? So x squared minus 25, you might notice that that's the difference of two squares, okay? So that's equal to, we'll say, x squared minus 5 squared over x minus 5, okay? And the x squared minus 5 squared, so it's the difference of two squares. You can factorize that into x plus 5 and x minus 5, okay? So difference of two squares, that was in our videos on factorization. Okay, so this is our new thing. So this is the exact same, we just written in a different way. And now you might also see that x minus 5 here and x minus 5 here, you can cancel them, okay? So we're left with x plus 5 as our answer, and now we can sub our 5 in, because it, it won't give us 0 divided by 0 or something awkward like that. Uh, it'll give us a real number, so I'm going to do the final line in green. So that's equal to 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So that's our limit, okay? So the trick always is, try and sub the x value straight in, and if that doesn't work, then factorize, rearrange a little bit, and then try and sub the x value in. So that's basically how you do limits, and it's all you need to know for the for the leaving cert. It's good to know exactly what they mean, but really all you need to know is how to how to solve them. Okay, and one last point I'll make before I end the video is that you can actually you can get zero as an answer. Okay, so zero divided by zero you can't get as an answer, which is what we got when we subbed 5 straight in here. Okay, You can't get 0 divided by 0 because that's an error, but you can get 0 as an answer because 0 is a number, okay? So look at an example when that happens. So if you have the limit as x approaches minus 5 of x squared minus 25 divided by um, x minus 5. Okay, so this looks really similar to the, one, the question we had up here, except this one is as x approaches 5, this is as x approaches minus 5, okay? So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll go to yellow. We're going to go minus 5 squared minus 25 divided by minus 5 minus 5. So we just subbed minus 5 into wherever there was an x. Next line, that'll give us 25 minus 25 divided by minus 10, and that'll give us 0 divided by minus 10. 0 divided by minus 10, we can do, is equal to 0. So 0 is our answer here, and that's perfectly okay. That means that as x approaches minus 5, this thing will approach 0. And that's, that's perfectly okay as an answer. As long as you don't have anything divided by 0, or 0 divided by 0, then you're okay. Okay? That's basically all you need to know for limits. Those two examples there, so they can ask you harder examples, but it's, it'll be the same problem every time. You'll need to factorize 
uh, and then sub in your values for x. Okay, hope that helped.